This training video was made according to the company's associated instructions on operational safety. This demonstration has been filmed in a controlled training facility environment and may not reflect all of the typical job site hazards. Therefore, additional care must be exercised when performing this work on site. PPE preparation, safety helmet, protective glasses, work clothes, safety shoes, and protective gloves. Equipment preparation, hydraulic trolley and weights, or similar. Tools preparation, leveling instrument, wrench, measuring device, and door stopper. Place protection barricades in front of the landing door on the lowest floor and a triangle sign in the car. Strictly following the company's procedures of pit access and egress, one worker enters into the pit. A second worker accesses the car top, again, according to the safety procedures of car top access and egress, communicates with the colleague in the pit before driving the car down. The worker staying in the pit observes the movement of the car and instructs the car top worker to stop it at an appropriate height. The worker staying at the pit presses the emergency stop button. Adjust each one of the four corner set bolts at the car bottom. Check for the correct rail clearance with the safety gear. After completing these undercar checks, move the car up so that the worker can exit the pit, remembering to follow the safety procedures when doing so. Resetting stop button before closing the landing doors. The car top worker then follows the safety procedures for exiting the car top and resets the stop buttons before closing the landing doors. Move the elevator to the chosen floor and place 125% loading into the car. Stop the car in the middle lower half of the shaft. Remove the speed governor and machine covering in the machine room. Observe whether the speed governor works normally during the emergency electric operation. Press down the emergency stop button, manually trip the speed governor pull and press the speed governor switch to prevent the switch from being damaged when the speed governor operates. Reset the emergency electric operation to run the car down. The traction wheel skids or stops at this point, depending on the elevator configuration. Reset the emergency electric switch to run the car up. Reset the safety gear. Press emergency stop button. Manually reset the speed governor call and also the speed governor switch. Reset the emergency electric operation to run the car up and down repeatedly so as to confirm that the safety gear has no jamming. Remove test weights from car. One worker enters into the pit and the other to the car top, both following the correct safety procedures. Reset the set bolts at the four corners of the car floor one by one. Check whether the rope tensioning wheel of the speed governor is correctly positioned. Check the clearance of the safety gear. On completion, move the car higher, allowing the person in the pit to exit, according to correct safety procedures. Check the car interior floor for horizontal level. Check the car and entrance walls for vertical level.
car top worker checks the safety gear linkage and safety gear switch have been reset correctly. Check the guide rail for safety gear markings and dress rail surface as necessary. The car top worker exits from the shaft, following the safety procedures for car top egress. Remove the protection barricades on landing and the triangle sign in the car. Return the elevator to normal service.